Yeah, well, I've got two ability points. Hmm. Nice. Shield strength up. What is this? When released, shield propels debris at nearby enemies. Ooh. See, that actually sounds pretty cool. And I've got a board counter mission to turn in. Old house spin maneuvers. Oh, geez. Oh, hi. Oh, you are fucking huge. I need to recharge my bullets and I need to recharge my damn gun. Whoa. Oh, I hate these big heavy guys. And now he's got friends. Great. But then again, his friends can just as easily become my friends. Thank you. <laughs> well, easy come, easy go, I suppose. Ooh, these guys are not easy. Black rock processing, black rock quarry, the coolant pumps, and the energy converters. Let's head for the quarry. Oh, the fucking angry things, right. Black rock processing, black rock quarry. Looks like there's a side area I missed completely on my map. Fuck! Oh yeah, you guys are annoying enough as it is. I don't need the added problem of the hiss in here. No, sir. No, sir. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Get me the F out of here. Yes, please. Don't mind me. I'm just running away. All right. Now, where's this big guy at? Says he's in here somewhere. There we go. Restricted area? Wonder what's so restricted about it. Well, my curiosity's officially been piqued. Better question is, can I even get there? <laughs> I can still hear those guys shooting. Ah, oh, levitation is so OP. Let's me get everywhere I want to be. Hi. Hello, tent. Hello, I need to clean out my mods, apparently. Excuse me. Rubber duck procedures. Huh. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required while handling. <laughs> item is a yellow rubber duck bat toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound ana analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this method is unknown. The item forms a bit of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Bleh entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected with the item's effect. It stalks you if you touch it. That's disturbing. I still hear those guys making a ruckus out there. Squad made of voracious. Oh! <laughs> oh, the blobs got him. I can't believe the blobs actually got him. That's crazy talk, good sir. Okay. This, uh, this appears to be the restricted door. It is very large, very imposing, and very immovable. Restricted area. Well, I can't go that way. As much as I'd like to. On the plus side, I no longer have to fight anybody in this zone, because the game did it for me. Uh, I'll deal with you later.
Let's see, I still need to go to NSC Energy Converters, Blackrock Processing, which is over by the Atlas Chamber, which I, in my idiocy, teleported away from. So I've got to go back that way, of course. Okay, Atlas Chamber is behind me. Right, right. Or rather, this is the Atlas Chamber. I can't do anything about that. That I can. Because that's not ridiculously overpowered at all, just being able to jump through shit like that. Oh, this is where Irish was stationed originally. Blackrock processing, that's what I want to see. Oh, is this the area where the Banshee was? Is that what I'm after? Am I, am I after one of the poor guys who got beaten by the Banshee that was in here? Black Rock Processing. Level 5 door! Hmm. I don't think I'm going the right way. Just a hunch. I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm headed back towards the... This is the door I couldn't open just a few seconds ago. Yeah, it is the Banshee room. Hi, guys! Hi, Hazard! Ouch. Just like Rish said. Yep. And only two to go at the energy converters and the coolant pumps. Which I'm actually reasonably close to the energy converters. I think this leads to the upper level of it. And maintenance is one of those areas where I got lost pretty damn easily. Black Rock Lab. Yeah, it is. Black Rock Quarry. Black Rock Processing. Yeah, I think this did actually lead to the uh, to the area above the converters. Which is good, I'll just be able to drop down on the converters then. <sighs> it is, I am, I'm right above the NSC energy converters area. Hi guys! And you, oh Jesus! Okay, I know how to deal with this. I gotta change weapons. I need... Pierce. Cuz what shield, good sir? Come on, Remus! At least throwing shit at him distracts him long enough. They didn't stand a chance without HRAs. <laughs> oh, I grabbed him and I hawked him. And this should take me back to the power plant. Which in turn will get me to the control room. Which I don't need to go. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. I know where I need to go. I need to go down. Just not that far down. I fucked up. Oh, oh, saved. Oh, saved. Oh, saved from my own stupidity. Oh, that was lucky as hell. Because, yeah, this should take me right back to the power plant, and then I need to head to coolant pumps. Right? Yeah, that's power plant. That's central. We don't need central. That's the wrong way. 
cool up pumps are no they are actually this way okay cool up pumps perfect <sighs> small fry ignored I don't care about you small fry right now I am just headed for the coolant pumps and thankfully there's a teleporter I can use to get back to where I need to go which would be our reach before I finish this section out All right, where's our last mini boss? That's probably him right there. I saw him. Oh, it's a banshee! Get back here. <laughs> yeah, I know how to deal with you. I should get these back to him. All right. Thankfully, there's a fast travel point right up here. I can go straight back to Arish, and that will probably be one of the last things I do for this set. Okay, Arish, Arish. What is this? New mission put a record on. Oh, I know what that is. We'll deal with that in just a second. Here are the pouches. Got them all, man. All Got six. Six. Oh, that's all of them. Kind of mine. Well, keep your HRA on so I don't have to I collect yours, too. It sounds sappy, I know, but that's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. No. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? <laughs> she just goes straight for it. You know, the story's confidential, but, uh, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. Yes, you so, can. Uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Must be You're kidding. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out <laughs> there was an item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh. oh. Man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. Oh. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. If somebody's got to protect uh, the people who protect everybody else, right? That's kind of sentimental, man. Sweet. Ooh, two more ability points. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Don't get okay. Now, I know what that new mission was that I was handed, but I want to actually... A, see if I can actually spend my ability points on anything worth spending them on. Probably not. Oh. More seize duration. That one's going to take quite a few more ability points. I want to see if I can upgrade any of my guns yet. I can upgrade spin. And I can upgrade charge. Uh, I need more remote thoughts. That's killing me that I need remote thoughts for all of these. I suppose I could do charge, max this out. Non-standard issue, mods. And I suppose I can upgrade this, because this looks like this will be the max level. Awesome. Corrupted sample, intrusive patterns, hidden trends. Sweet, I can now make rank 5 mods. But I want to get these weapons upgraded and oh god, I burned through all my fucking points. Outfits. I has an outfit. Ooh. I'm gonna stick with the original outfit, but uh, cool looking. Okay, now. Where's that jukebox? Because that, I'm betting, is what that mission was we just picked up. Put a record on. Ask Arish about the jukebox token. Hey there, Faden. Hey, dude. I found this token. Any idea what it does? I found a few of these, actually, from Bureau Missions. That is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad pennies. 
The Rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. I would guess. I think I know where it is. Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why is it yes, it does. Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. <laughs> it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's hmm. in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only yep. send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. And they're all dead. The song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Okay. Put in a token and enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride, he says. Oh, this sounds fun. Use the token in I the jukebox. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Stop by any time. Hello. I got paperwork hiding over here. Television proposal. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranormal events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranormal concepts on civilian audiences. Seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses or licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. I thought for sure he'd say the Twilight Zone, but uh, what? That's the former. You guys have a picture of the former. Oh, shit. All right. Well, let's uh, see if I can't remember where that damn jukebox is. I don't think it's this way, but I'm going to double check. I think it was down in the lower section. Yep, it's in the lower section. Uh... There it is. There's the security station. And I've already listened to that. Hey, the door's unlocked. Oh. Oh my, what have I gotten myself into now? Quarry site beta, the formation. No map. Oh shit. Where in the hell am I? Yeah, height is power. Height is power. Height is power. Hello? Nothing up here, huh? Oops, sorry, I broke it. Where in the hell am I? I am lost. I am very, very lost. Hello? I need like a signpost or something. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Just because that's pretty looking. Hello? That looks important. The formation. stars that certainly looks like the same sky as the quarry yes it does yes i should look for those rangers nani travel through the active gate to the island site active gate active gate hmm? hello squad captain lopez reporting on expedition 17b at the formation now, visually no distinction from the previous visit. The link detectors are still standing. One arch has a light flashing, so we're gonna give the area once over. Then we'll head back. Lopez out. 
Link detectors. Is that these things? Ca causal link inactive. Oh, that's the blinking one. A flashing light. They must have gone that way. Causal link active. Uh, okay. Cool. Very cool. Ooh, that was risky. Yeah, let's uh, let's stick with the old floaty. This is much safer. Search the site for missing expedition team. Hmm. Well, the place is well lit at least. Hello? Anybody here? Where would I find a missing expedition team? Where would I find anybody? Hmm. A lot of nothing here. Just empty space. Oh, oh, no, 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 I see bodies. Great. Oh, shit, that sounds like hiss. That's not good. They're here. And my exit just disappeared. Survive. <laughs> My mission is simply live, which is uh, easier said than done, but okay. Let's, uh, if I'm gonna do the whole survival thing, let's get some assistance here. Seven. I'll give me the seven bullshit. Oh shit! Uh oh, I see more just popping up up there. <laughs> I'm so glad I maxed out launch. It has saved my ass so many times in this game. Look. The hell? Um. What happened? And what is this horrible music? Speak with Arish, huh? So when the song ends, it kicks me out automatically, huh? Interesting. There you are. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them, but it's not good news. Nope, they all got hissed. The hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. Yeah, I saw a lot of junk lying around. Of hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. Oh, joy. That is simple. <laughs> oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. Oh, sweet. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? Jeez, man. Real helpful, Arish. I try. Sweet. Jukebox tokens and... I have to go. I have an actual still, file to read. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. All right, let's uh, poke our nose at this file really quick. Hmm. 
assuming I actually find anything in here. You know, there's got to be something in here that's new. There it is, the formation. The formation is a tall stone structure found in Quarry Site Beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens in the jukebox object of power. The formation's exact purpose is bleh, but we can at least examine its relationship with the bleh surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of bleh and certain lines running from the foundation to the bleh. When examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detected. Some form of sympathetic causality connects the formation with the bleh, which means in theory that when certain bleh are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment of purpose or desire nearby individuals. Though I'd like to remind those individuals that we're the parakinesiology department, not the para feelings department. <laughs> I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These arches will help rangers identify when the causal tethers are active, allowing them to better bleh. Got a new case file for the jukebox. Items to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. The door, the room must be sealed. A classic 1950s jukebox made by Songmaster Entertainment LTD. The jukebox was found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others by Bleh. When this record is placed, played in the object, anyone with an earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. Those involved in the object's first known incident report being transported to a tropical beach, exact location unknown. Damn. And all I ended up at was a shitty ass quarry, and they got to go to a beach. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorize that this site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning material gravitating to its position, as has been observed with other bureau equipment. The oldest house's unique nature could also be having an effect on the object itself. This object is not bound to any known individual. Attempts by bureau staff to bind it have resulted in bleh and should not be attempted again. And I have a multimedia. Oh, right. That would be the, uh, the two quarry beta logs. Sweet. Okay, guys. Oh, jukebox token can be constructed at control points or earned through bureau alerts, board countermeasures, and other fun things. Uh, that sounds good. Okay, guys. I think I am definitely going to end this here. I think I'm going to spend a little time off camera and go poking my nose into these expeditions. So I am going to see how badly those can kick my ass. It's probably pretty bad. I might do one or two on camera later. But uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to find out if I ever go back to the main story or just stay on these side missions forever. Hint, it's probably still going to be side missions for another video or two. <laughs> I'm sorry, but these side missions are so interesting. They keep revealing more about this place, the people in it, and all the crazy things they keep finding. I mean, geez, I was being stalked by a rubber duck for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.